New tonight, a drug bust, the prescription kind. Liza Danver is live at Centerville Police Headquarters to show how they honed in on these suspects. Liza? Police say the investigation started in Dayton when a guy was caught red-handed trying to buy prescription painkillers. While well, police say the woman who called in that bogus script works at a pain clinic in Centerville. We first told you about this pain pill bust at the beginning of August when Jesse Schrode was arrested for trying to fill a bogus prescription at this Dayton Rite Aid. Police tracked the RX trail back to the Ohio Institute of Comprehensive Pain Management in Centerville where Monica Garrity used to work. Authorities say she was given the axe this month after the clinic learned she was charged with three counts of deception to obtain dangerous drugs. We went to her house to ask her about the charges, but she wasn't home. You see on the news all the time that prescription drugs are rampant here in this area. Uh, so anytime we can take those prescription drugs off the street to where they're out of the hands of people self-medicating or abusing, uh, it's a win. Police say Monica called in fake pain pill prescriptions to different pharmacies. She then got her brother, Brent Loesch, and his two friends, Antron Johnson and Jesse Schrode, to pick the pills up. The third time was not the charm, though, with this crew. The cops got wind of the scheme. Now all four are facing felony charges. The pharmacists are watching for it. The doctor's office is watching for it. The police department are watching for it. The DEA is watching for patterns. So the, all these people watching for this type of abuse to occur. So it's a very difficult crime to occur at this point, just because there's so many different agencies and, and people involved. All four of those suspects have been charged. However, they're still waiting to go before a grand jury. Live in Centerville, Liza Denver, Fox 45 News. Liza, thanks. Did you know prescription drug abuse is the leading cause of accidental deaths in Ohio? The Attorney General's office tells us last year, five people a day died from accidental drug overdoses, and 40% of those drugs were painkillers.